Hi family, friends, countrymen and women. My name is Emmanuel Jao and I'm an ex-child soldier from South Sudan who's now a recording artist, a peace activist. I figured out a way to do something about my life. So I'm now part of a solution in the world where I share my experiences for social and emotional learning. And what made this possible was art. Art, in my beginning, became something that made me find a new meaning in my life, in my challenges. When I was smuggled into Kenya by a British aid worker called Emma McCune, and they gave me tools, art book, and a pen. And I started drawing. And the stuff I was drawing, I was drawing what I saw, dead people, burning villages, soldiers shooting each other. And those were the art pieces that I was providing. Then I was told, Jao, you're drawing really ugly stuff. Can you draw something beautiful? And so I didn't know how to draw something beautiful. What is beautiful? And so I was given an art piece, an art book. And this art book, there were several art books. So there was this hippo that, to me, I found that hippo amazing. And I still drawing the hippo. And I can still remember how to draw that hippo and a banana and a, and a rock on it. And I draw that. And every time I draw something beautiful, something happens to me, I feel a little better. But that's the early beginning I came to realize there's something about art in itself. It's a form of a therapy in its way. And it created mental space for me, which also led me to be able to become an artist now where I'm doing music. So now there's a campaign that has been launched. It's called Friendship Art Campaign. It's done by I L I L F P which is, I love first people. I love first people. So if you want to know about it, it's ilfp.ca. And basically what they're doing is they want us to create a box that we can fill with beautiful things, an art piece that they can send those ones to children in remote areas in Canada. Now these kids are so far away from the cities and this will be a way to communicate our friendship with them so they can be able to draw things and, and have art and communicate whatever they want to communicate. Art gives us an expression in which we can communicate at a subconscious level without being afraid. And art has got a way in which we can express ourselves better without words. And what we could put out could communicate powerful things. And so this is an opportunity that we've been given to walk in our purpose. And it's part of United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Now, as you listen, if you want to know more about it, I will ask you to go to ilfp.ca. See you.